Today we're gonna bring you into Norwegian fairy tales, Norwegian mythology and Norwegian superstition and spooky, spooky stories. We're gonna meet all those strange, not at all human creatures and beings that are uh, in the Norwegian landscape, the Norwegian nature. Where the, are you? I am deep inside an old woods of Norway. And here you think it's pretty, you think it's ni nice, <laughs> but uh, it's super dangerous because you really don't know what you're gonna meet. And I will uh, tell you which of the creatures, which of the beings are the most dangerous, cruel and incredibly not likable at all. Are you afraid? Uh, of the last one that I'm gonna show you? Oh, are you uh, afraid of everyone? Of course, yeah, some of them, there's one that's uh, both nice and bad but the last one is very relevant just now just as she was thousand years ago why are you bringing a book is it like because a magic book this is both magic and interesting and very scary it's death anxiety it's poverty and it's haunting and it's ghostly. Oh, what and yes, a lusty the person. small trolls. They look all cozy. Yes. And we're gonna start with the most famous of them all, of all the creatures that we have uh, in the Norwegian landscape. I think you see the ghosts in highlights. These are not ghosts. These are. Uh, they have been real creatures for I think as long as there have been human beings in Norway. Sometimes it's a small version of it, sometimes it's a bigger. And this is a typical example of a, a wood troll. It's just a root. Yeah, yeah, no, look at the hair, the arms. The, the spooky appearance, I mean, it's not a uh, wood or root. This, this is a wood troll. Trolls in Norway, they are really dangerous because they are antisocial. You cannot see them during daylight. They only walk around in the woods during they, they the crack, night. They crack up in the daylight. Yeah, they don't like because they ex will explode. J just like a vampire, they will explode in the daylight. So this one is preparing for night before he or she, they are sexless actually, will walk over around in the wood and looking for human beings. What do they do? Mm, they sometimes eat us, they sometimes kill us just for fun. Before Christianity came to Norway, Norwegians were asking the trolls about wisdom to how to make a dead person live again. You know that story? And Christianity wouldn't have nothing to do with it. And they made a law. Because saying, everyone was going to hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the people were, yeah, they were asking trolls about how can I make my mom live again? She just died. And so they, they made it a forbidden thing to contact trolls. You can see the arms are out. Uh, this troll is want to catch something and it will sweep the... I see the nose. The ground of the wood, yes. And the nose is very famous, actually. The big nose, the green, unwashed hair. And now it's freezing because it's daylight. But this is the move that this creature will make silently through the woods tonight, searching for blood of a Christian man. Even though it's not so huge, it's super dangerous. It's stupid, it's a bit stupid. It's really stupid, yes it is. You can fool it. You can outsmart it if it catches you, but you have to be very smart and wise. Like Askeladden did. Yes, yes, absolutely. 
but this is a, a medium-sized troll over there up in the mountains there you will find those big several-headed trolls and they are hungry they have four or five big mouths one body and they are searching for blood of a Christian man because now they can they sniff are it. Out they can the sniff it. They can sniff out like a your shark. religion. Yes, absolutely. And they will find you and eat you. That's what they love. <laughs> I don't see <laughs> any troll. Man, because you don't have any imagination, Mats. It's not very hard to imagine. Like before TV and everything, people saw all kinds of creatures in the nature. Is, is that the nose? Yeah. Oh, he's sniffing. Yeah. <laughs> and who are we going to meet next? You have to be careful. You don't know who you're going to meet. <gasps> no. Did I hear something? What? Oh, no. This one, this one is really... Okay. Shh. You have to be silent. She, this one, it's a woman. I have to pee. <laughs> well, you, you shouldn't do it now. Shh. I see something here. This one. She is both good and very evil. Careful. Go on. Go on. You don't want her to notice you before you notice her, okay? Is she here? Yes, she is. Who's this? This is the most beautiful of all our creatures. It's a woman and she's beautiful. Shh, she's here. Yeah, I know. I mean, uh, Scarlett Johansson, go home. This one is called Huldra and she is ten times more beautiful, ten times more me mesmerizing and attractive. I mean, I am a man and if I didn't, if I just walked over there suddenly and she saw me and started speaking to me, my blood will start, my heart will go duk 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 Why? because she's so beautiful and you think that you have met the most beautiful woman in the world walking there in the woods and you think you're lucky you're gonna score score something <laughs> but uh, I'm sorry if she sees you and start talking to you you are gone because uh, be just before you approach her and you want to almost hug her and she is willing to hug you you realize that Wow, wait a minute. This is not an ordinary woman. How? Well, everything looks normal. Be but under her skirt coming out there, it's a cow tail. Wow. Yes, and then you have met Huldra. And Huldra is both very mean and good. She's uh, like a siren. Yeah, just like a mermaid or a siren. She will capture you and she will bring her down to her kingdom and where is her kingdom 
it's underneath us, the underworld, and you will be lost forever. Your friends and family might search the wood, shouting for you, where are you? Please come home. But she also has some other superpowers. Yes, because she will take the, these men, lust, lustful men, down to her underworld, and when she gives birth and her child her baby is sick she doesn't like that so she will snap a human baby and give her sick ill baby to the humans so oh, there's she's a switch just depressed a bit, yes uh, and she's switching them but she can treat you in a way can't she she can always also be good because if you have experienced death you are very sad, you are full of sorrow and you are walking around the woods thinking about all your pain. She will feel it and she will actually approach you and embrace you. I need her. But then, yeah, all of us does, but I'm not sure if I want her to comfort me, but she will comfort you and she will tell you that all the pains will go away and you will leave the wood alive, that's the most important thing, and you will feel much better. So she is kind of a shifty character, but watch out for women with cow tails. Don't kiss them. Yes, I hear you. Huldra, I'm coming. Yes. Oh. Easy. Huldra. Easy. Huldra. Easy, go back. Uh -huh. She's, she's oh. trying to treat. Uh, no. no. Uh, she has a tail. No. Ah! I don't want you anymore, please go, stay there. But she's uh, sexy. Uh, she's sexy. Uh, yeah, but that, uh, too sexy, I would say. Uh, okay, what's a creature in your country from, uh, what's the mythology when you walk out there or maybe it's in a city? I mean, we love fairy tales, mythology and superstition. So share with us your, best ones, your most dangerous one. It's easy, you just push the bell and you push subscribe, push the bell and, and the share with us. Yeah, notification also important. But I want to know, I love fairy tales and spooky stories, don't you? Okay, now we are out of the woods and you might think that we are safe <laughs> because we are here down at the sea, uh, but it's not true. I mean, here, I personally think, because I grew up by the sea, and the, the one, the second most the ugly, nasty, dangerous creature of them all actually lives in the sea. It's idyllic now, isn't it? Look at this. The rays of sunshine, the beautiful landscape, the tranquility, the peace and quiet of it all. You just want to take it all in. And if I had a boat, I might go out there to, have, to sail or to row. But that's nothing you should do actually here in Norway. Because under the surface, there's a creature, an ugly beast with half a face, a big mouth, and a, uh, and a hand reaching out from the sea. And he's called the Rogan. And the Rogan is the ghost of an, or the spirit of an old lost seafarer or fisherman that drowned out there, but when he see and feels a boat, he goes, oh, that's my mission. And he will arise up, you will see a hand in his head, and he will grab you. No! First the boat, and then your body, the and boat. then your face. And then my camera. Yeah. And he will pull you down. Are you afraid and of him? Me? I grew up by the sea, I'm dead afraid. I mean, and my granny always told me, if you go out where it's too deep, Draugen will get you, so stay by shore.
and now you thought dragon dragon is really haunting and really dangerous and ugly and all that and I'm really scared but the last one I wouldn't meet her feel her get her inside of me for my life I'm praying each day and night and I think actually now the whole world is praying for the same let's find out who it is Who's this? Don't ask, you don't wanna know! I have a broom! And the broom is for you! I have a rake! And you're lucky if it's a rake! Then maybe, maybe I will spare you! But the broom is gonna get you! Uh, this is the last, the ugliest, the most terrible mother peep you will ever get. And uh, of all the characters, the creatures, the being that we have in Norway, and she first arrived uh, in uh, almost a thousand years ago, it was the Black Death. And her name is Pesta. Pest in Norwegian is plague, so her name is kind of Plaga or Pesta in Norway. And she brought the Black Death to human beings, to houses. The COVID. Yeah, it was called Black Death then, now it's COVID, so Pesta. I mean, you might have her on your doorstep now using her broom. And I hope. Actually, it's the rake because then some of you might be spared. But the broom, there is no getting out. If she uses the broom outside your house, today, now, you have to go and check. You're finished. And the video is also finished. It is, because what can I do if I'm dying there in a respirator in a coma? Oh, please, 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 that it's not happening. exhausted it's been a terrible wonderful time uh, I hope you enjoyed it and as I told you we want to know about your mythology figures all of that because it's so interesting and we have to have something to read when we are dead bored by PESTA and if you're more bored check out our videos we got more, more than a hundred okay beware of PESTA she's coming for you uh, bye ah.